Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen. Before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like. Let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That will definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in 2K community. And hopefully you can appreciate that daily 9 a.m. uploads. You can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today I got something truly special for y'all. We got a contact dunking shot creator at the power forward position. Yes, you heard that correctly. It is... A really fun build to play on and I'm gonna hop right into it so you want to go power forward uh, doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed um, the pie chart that we're gonna go with is the mostly shooting and a little bit of finishing I thoroughly love this pie chart here there's a lot of pie charts that I actually love actually I just love a good build man <laughs> but um and for the physicals we're gonna go pure speed you want to be as fast as you possibly can when you're talking about primary ball handler build then what we're gonna do here is go 84 on a close shot max out that driving layup and that driving dunk for eight finishing um it'll be nice to try to get nine um then we want to max out the mid-range shot the three-point shot the free throw and then go 77 on the post um on the post fade for 20 then you want to max out your pass accuracy max out your ball handling and get right to 73 because that's gonna give us 16 um playmaking badges you know that's a sweet spot for a build then we want to max out the perimeter defense the lateral quickness then we want to max out the block the offensive and defensive rebound okay we all know that these three are very important when it comes to any build that could potentially play the center um again this is again this is a primary bar handler build but look at the lineup 8 20 16 and 6 it's extremely solid and again it'd be nice to be able to get nine um here but at the same time it's cool like we're cool we'll, we'll go with the eight and if you're an individual that's already hit level you know 40 every season man shoot you got five extra bash points to do it and i would definitely recommend putting a couple here um and then also getting a couple more on defense so again this build can be so solid especially if you're an individual that has hit level 39 at least every season um body type you do want to go built you want to go down to six seven of course you want to go down to 186 pounds right here and then your wingspan drop it down to 81 okay you want to drop it down to 81 um and now let's look at the physicals okay so you know you get a plus eight to your physicals you get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall and then you get an additional plus four by doing either of these three things either a going into my career uh, you do want to play every single game until you become a starter now, once you become a starter, you want to sim out the rest of the regular season. You do want to play every single playoff game. And then, of course, after you win the championship, the following season, you will have the gym rat badge. Or you have option B, which I feel is the best option. And that option is that you want to go to the gated facility. You do want to talk to the guy at the entrance. He's going to give you a quest and say, hey, hit level 40, whatever season you're currently in. So we're currently in season five. If you hit level 40 in this season, you will get the gym rat badge. But you will also get it for every other build you have currently currently made that has the quest activated so what i'm saying is, is that you need to go ahead and get every build that you have made go to the gate facility and make sure you at least activate the gym rat badge quest at the gateway facility once you do that just hit level 40 and then load in with every single build and you'll get the gym rat badge i think that's just like the easiest way to do it you only need to hit 40 in one season if you're not able to hit 40 in every season just try hitting in one so every build can have the gym rat badge now, if you can't do that, it's okay. Option C is the best way, and that is every seven days, just work out in a gated facility, okay? Now, what you're going to have here with this build, believe it or not, is a ridiculous 90 speed and an 86 acceleration and an 80 vert. So, it's really strong and solid here. And then when you look at your finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, slash, rebound, you get a plus five here. So, you're going to have an 80, um, I'm sorry, plus four here. You get an 86 close shot, an 81 driving layup, a 78 driving dunk. And of course, you know when you get slashing takeover, it'll be an 88, and that's how you get your contact dunks. And then you look at your shooting, you have an 87 
mid-range shot, an 85 three ball, which again is solid. And then of course, you will have an 82 post fade. And look at your playmaking, an 80 pass accuracy, a 76 ball handle, which allowed you to get all the pro dribble animations, which is huge. We all know how successful people have been with the Le LeBron James size up escape package, Jimmy Butler. I mean, you name it, you Luka Doncic. There's so many pro dribble animations that a lot of just high ball handlers use. So this build is gonna be solid in the ISO. And then you look at your defense, you still get a solid 77 perimeter defense, 73 lateral quickness. You get a 62 block, a 61 offensive rebound, and a 69 defensive. And then now when you look here, you see we have the slashing takeover. So you get that slashing takeover, you get a plus 10 to your ball handle, okay? You get a plus, so that now that 70, was it 76? I'm sorry, yeah, that 76 ball handle now becomes an 86. You get a plus 10 to your speed, so that 90 speed becomes 100. You get a plus 10 to your strength, your vert, and then, of course, your finishing. So a lot of people don't understand that slashing takeover does give you more than just your finishing because what happens is 2K decided that when slashers have that take, they also need to be able to dribble, right, to be able to get to the basket. So that's the reason why they get that initial playmaking boost also, which other builds don't get. Like playmaking only gives you 10 in playmaking. Shot creating only gives you 10 in shooting. Sharp only gives you 10 in shooting. Well, guess what? Slasher gives you a plus 10 in finishing and in your playmaking. A lot of people don't know that, right? So you want to go here. And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces. We have a shot creator that gets contact dunks at the power forward position, okay? So now what we're going to do is this. We're going to test this build out real quick. We'll get 99. And of course, we will then get you out of here. So let's go here. Max this out. Boom. Now you want to go get your posterizer and your limitless takeoff. That is the most important ones. Then fearless finisher and acrobat to top it off. That would have been great right here. It'd be nice to get slithery, but I also recommend getting these two because when you go to the basket a lot, you're not going to get dunks all the time. And bronze fearless finisher actually works and acrobat helps out a lot. So I always recommend going this route first. And then um, on your shooting side, of course, you want to get sniper. That's the most important. You also want to get stop and pop. Lucky seven on bronze. I love hot zone hunter, of course. And then now you want to get your blinders. You always want to get that blinders as a primary ball handler build. And then now with these last three, it's really your preference, right? How do you plan on playing? Some people love to get that um, green machine on silver. Some people love to get vol volume shooter. Some people like to get the circus threes and shoot threes. Even getting catch and shoot. It's all about your play style. Hell, even dead eye. So, I mean, it's really up to you. And the way that I like to play and the way that I like to have fun with these builds, I'm going to go with circus threes. I just love doing that, but it's your preference, all right? Playmaking, the most important ones, of course, will be quick chain, quick first step. You do not get handles for days with this build because um, it is at the power four position. So just keep that in mind. You want to get bell out. You also want to get um, bullet passer. Now, here's the thing. If you're playing threes, definitely get downhill. It, it, it's worth it. You want to get the downhill. Trust me, you, you're going to love it. All right. And then I would like to get my um, hyperdrive too. So this is what I would rock with, something like this. Okay. And then on defense, um, rebound chaser, rim protector, chase down artist, and interceptor. I mean, um, intimidator or something like that in the aspect. Because you're better off playing center with this build. Trust me, it's going to be fun. All right. Just have fun with this, man. Run the threes. And just watch big seven foot centers just have a hard time keeping up. All right. But um, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the contact dunking power forward shot creator. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say be back soon with the banger, you know exactly what day I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.